Hi, in this video we're going to go over settings and adjustments for the 8000 and 7000 series Lexion combines. First we'll take a look at the feeder house drum. The drum in the upper position allows for less aggressive feeding in crops such as corn, soybeans, and sunflowers. Moving the drum to the lower position is better for small grains or can also be set this way in soybeans when in rocky fields to keep rocks from feeding into the feeder house and causing potential damage. To adjust the drum, we simply loosen both nuts on either side of the feeder house and rotate the elevation block to the desired drum height. You may need to pry up on the drum to relieve any tension on the blocks. You also need to check your feeder house chain tension. This can be done by looking at the third and fourth bottom facing slats with the drum in the lower position. The slats should barely touch the floor. If you're running the belted version, it should be adjusted slightly tighter. If either one or two loose, you may notice slightly more grain damage, and if it's too tight, you may receive an error in the CBIS for your crop roller located in the feeder house. When the chain or belt are too tight, you can lift up on the roller, causing it to become out of adjustment. Our HP feeder house allows you to adjust the header for or aft pitch depending on cutting conditions. It can be tilted forward to get a closer cut to the ground when harvesting soybeans or lodged small grains. It can be tilted back when harvesting in rocky conditions. This feature is extremely beneficial when harvesting down corn as it helps pick up the down stalks. Next, we'll take a look underneath the feeder house. Remember to always lower the ram stops whenever performing any work underneath the machine. By opening up our self-cleaning rock trap, you can see our APS crates. These can be easily swapped out for more or less aggressive versions by removing these six bolts and sliding one of the grates out. Here you can see we are running our round bar concave. This is typically used for corn and soybeans. When running in small grains or tougher threshing crops, you would see a key stock grate. Along with our APS grates, you can see our disawning plate lever here. With the lever in the up position, the disowning plates are closed to help optimize threshing performance by allowing the crop to remain in the concave longer. And when the lever is down, the plates are open to maximize pre-separation. Another thing to note while we are under here are prep pans. These should be checked periodically, especially if running in wet conditions. These can be removed easily by removing these three nuts and pulling one of the prep pans out. Once the pan is removed, these can be cleaned using air or water. Here you can see the concave blanking plate engagement handle. This is standard on all C8 Lexion models. Close the banking plate to improve threshing performance in tough conditions or on the fly from the cab when equipped. This will help remove white caps and is another way to gain increased threshing action by holding the crop in the machine a little longer. One thing to note on the 8000 and 7000 series Lexion combines is the threshing drum is 26% larger than the 700 series. This added two more rows of rasp bars and has a higher tip speed. Threshing speed should be reduced 20 to 26% compared to the 700 series to avoid overthreshing. As we move farther back, we have our twin rotors. Each rotor is equipped with either two or four rotor cover plates depending on configuration. These can be engaged in the cab through the CBIS. Closing the rotor cover plates does two things. One, it holds the crop in the cage longer to improve separation, and two, it allows the chaff to be carried farther back, resulting in less material on the shoe and cleaner sample. But you will reduce separation area as you close them down. The rotor cover plate should be open in corn and can be closed in heavy chaff conditions where you might be taking in a lot of material such as windrowing. If equipped with the 4D cleaning option, the covers will automatically counter the side roll of the combine by directing the crop out of the rotor cage to the high side to maintain even distribution on the rotor returns in rolling terrain up to 20% slope. Here's the 3D cleaning system actuator. It is standard on all Lexion combines. It uses an oil bath pendulum and a slope sensor to monitor the side roll of the combine. At the same rate as the combine leans, tossing the grain to the high side to keep the crop evenly distributed over the entire upper sieve area. The 3D cleaning system is effective up to 20% slope. Next we have our residue management system. 
To change the chopper speed, simply push or pull on this pin to the desired speed range. It can be controlled hydraulically from the cab if equipped with the optional hydraulic adjustment option. Set to low for corn, high for soybeans and small grains. The spreader speed can also be adjusted by pushing on this lever here to relieve the belt tension and moving the belt from one pulley set to the other. This can be ran depending on header width in either low or high with the chopper in low speed and low only when the chopper is in high speed. If you try and run the spreaders in high with the chopper in high, an overspeed alarm will sound and the processor will disengage. Here we have our wind and slope compensation sensors. These allow the spreaders to evenly distribute your straw across a full header width dependent upon wind conditions and the slope of the train. As we walk around the machine, you can see the three position stationary knife bank. This can be moved using this lever or hydraulically controlled from the cab if equipped. We also have a friction plate that can be engaged with this handle or hydraulically from the cab as well. This allows the crop to engage more of the rotary knives for increased chopping action. This can be used in place of or in conjunction with the stationary knives depending on how fine you want your straw quality. One adjustment to note in the grain tank are our front and rear cross auger covers. These can be adjusted independently of each other, up or down, depending on crop and crop moisture.